Golden algae eater is a freshwater aquarium fish native to Thailand, Vietnam, and northern India. The golden algae eaters in the wild are pale clay-colored with black spotted sides and have a black stripe that runs down their dorsal fin. It is common for these types of fish to have one or more rows of small, white bony plates on the upper portion of their body as well. The golden algae eater can grow up to about 12 inches in length and live for 8 years or more with proper care. Let's find out more information on the Golden Algae Eater Care Guide. Golden Algae Eater is a semi-aggressive fish, bottom-dwelling fish that is very undemanding, making it easy to care for and thus a good choice for beginners. Its natural habitats include large and medium-sized lakes, swamps, and rivers. They prefer rocky bottoms but like shallow water and use their mouths to help them push their way along the bottom. The golden algae have long bodies and a small, pointed tail. Golden algae eaters have a large mouth that forms a sucker, which the fish uses to hold, anchor themselves to rocks and sand in rivers or fast-flowing waters. The golden algae are non-school, portraying semi-aggressive tendencies. They will fight fish of similar size that invade its territory, including other golden algae eaters if they are kept in captivity. When kept with peaceful species which they are compatible with, they are extremely peaceful and quite willing to display their colors and come close to the human. Golden algae eater is a species that is easy to care for, keeping it in an oligo-specific aquarium. The species is quite hardy and can tolerate a wide range of water parameters and temperatures, making it a healthy choice for almost any aquarium. Nevertheless, you need to provide a proper habitat to eliminate stress and prevent diseases. Since this species can get pretty big, it is recommended to keep it in an aquarium that is at least 50 gallons per fish. This size enables the golden algae eater to avoid the stress of being overcrowded, thus easier to care for. However, it is not recommended if you have other fish that are similar in size. One of the biggest mistakes that beginner hobbyists make when they keep the golden algae eater is to keep the parameters of their aquarium too simple. A properly maintained aquarium that has varied water parameters will help to provide a stress-free environment for the golden algae eater. When we talk of water parameters, we talk of pH, hardness, and temperature. The pH should be slightly acidic, from 6.8 to 7.4 picohenries. The temperature should be between 72 to 82 degrees Fahrenheit and the hardness should be reversed from soft at 7 decihenries to 30 decihenries. The golden algae eaters are very picky about their habitats. Since they spend most of their time feeding from the bottom and scavenging from the lower parts, a tank that has a sandy substrate, rocks, and large plants will make the fish feel more at home. Place smooth rocks in the sand, gravel in your aquarium and utilize artificial caves for perfect hiding places. Live plants provide additional support for the golden algae eater, especially during the lighting hours. Plants that are used need to be well rooted in their substrate and will provide shelter for predatory fish as well. Plants like java fern and anubias are great. You can also use plants made from plastics to ensure that the golden algae eater will have a safe environment to live in. When it comes to decorations, you can keep floating bubbles and glass ornaments in your aquarium. You can also use java fern for a fast-growing plant. The lighting should be set to 12 to 15 hours of light, and many species will enjoy dimming the lights between 1 to 3 hours during the night. In the wild, golden algae eaters feed on algae from rocks and plants. Although algae are their main diet, they also eat proteins from maggots. In captivity, their diet should consist of algae wafers and flakes as well as live foods like brine shrimp, worms, and prawns. With this diet, the golden algae eater will maintain its natural coloring. A feeding schedule of two times daily of small feedings is typical for this species. You can choose to offer small amounts of food throughout the day or all at once in the morning and evening. Feed them a large variety of foods to provide them with a well-balanced diet. Golden algae eaters are semi-aggressive fish. When kept as a single fish in a community tank, they get along with the vast majority of other fish, especially at a young age. However, they can be aggressive towards fish that are the same shape as them such as silver sharks and red-tailed sharks. They also shouldn't be kept with large, slow-moving tank mates that they'd be likely to chase. A couple of examples of these are angelfish and discus fish. The best potential tank mates are usually small, speedy species that can easily swim away should they need to. You could try tiger barbs, mollies, swordtails, clown loaches, and cherry barbs. 
You can keep golden algae eaters both on their own and in groups. However, it's only beneficial to keep younger species in groups, as larger species can become territory dependent. Golden algae eater breeding in home aquariums is quite complicated. Since 1955 young fish species were imported into Europe in large numbers. This testifies that Gyronocylus is a rather infertile fish. Nowadays, it is bred in fish hatcheries using hormonal agents. This basically makes breeding them at home challenging, hormonal injections are required. To be able to deal with this, an aquarist has to possess proper knowledge and experience. Golden algae eater becomes reproductive at the age of 2 years old. For breeding them, you'll need a separate tank of about 200 liters capacity, good filtration, and strong water flow. A net is put on the bottom, and you can put some wide-leaved plants in its corners. The light should be dim. You make two hormonal injections to the selected female with eggs. The first is made before spawning and the second one, when putting it in the tank. You also should put two males there. One female fish can lay up to 3,000 eggs that males then fertilize. After they lay eggs, you should remove the breeders from the tank. The eggs require constant thorough care. It includes daily small water renews and removing dead eggs. You can add some antifungal agents into the water to preserve more embryos. Incubation lasts for about a day. The juveniles grow fast and don't demonstrate cannibalism towards their relatives. It's difficult to tell the difference between males and females with both growing to a similar size and both exhibiting similar colors. Adults female can however, be a little fatter and look rounder than males. Another distinguishing feature is the fact that reproductive males develop a breeding horn on their head. Golden algae eaters are a relatively straightforward species to care for. The only major concern is their aggression, which becomes worse with age. So, if you choose the wrong tank mates, there's every possibility that they would attack them. However, if you plan your aquarium well and choose suitable fish to join your golden algae eater, you shouldn't experience any problems. They'll also prove incredibly useful for algae control, making the job of cleaning your tank much easier.